Hello everyone and welcome to our recap of what went down at the prologue stage of the EWS Eval Berg this afternoon. Just a single stage of racing on the unique Terre Gris moonscape here in the baking hot south of France. Pretty hard to gauge, it was super, super physical. I don't know, that sounds silly, but in practice, you didn't feel like you were above the motor that much, but that one, you are above the motor the whole time. Uh, downhill part is on fire all the time. You need to move a lot of rollers and uh, berms all the time. The top was good, but after I stopped to time on the climb, so I lose a lot of time, but yeah, it was a long day. Laura Charles was third. The series leader, Alia Marcellini, was second. Isabel Corderier won the pro women's race by a massive 15 seconds ahead of series leader, Alia Marcellini. This one was absolutely incredible. It's like uh, riding in the middle of the grey earth and it's kind of a natural toboggan and you just can like enter super fast and really let the bike kind of uh, cruise. And so yeah, it's uh, honestly one of the most beautiful stage we've ever done. For tomorrow is uh, more long more rider uh, uh, fast. The eighth stage is beautiful, but I prefer the, the five, the six and the seven. It's very incredible stage. Corderier's teammate Adrian Day riding through the pain barrier with a broken foot beat Andrea Garibo home by 4.4 seconds and the series leader Edgar Carballo Gonzalez was third. I'm just riding flat pedal because I broken a uh, toe. I'm not used to it but it's okay. And uh, I didn't expect to same uh, same time as the best. There we have it then, after just 2.2 kilometers, we have a monster 57 kilometers still the race at the first ever standalone EWS E tomorrow. Make sure you tune in to EnduroWorldSeries.com and all our social media channels for updates throughout the day.